hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time stopping by welcome my name is jay anoka and if you're a returning subscriber you already know i love you so much thank you so so much for coming back so in today's video i'm going to be talking about how i batch create for instagram so if you're a content creator you're an influencer you want to start content creation and you want to be consistent you want to show up more consistently then this video is definitely for you so guys let's get straight into this video but first if you want to start content creation i have a video on that and the link to that video is going to be in the description box the title is how to become a content creator in 2023 so you want to make sure you check out that video i'm very sure you're going to learn one or two things from that video and then also learn something from this one i've been creating content for three years plus so far i've been consistent i can say i've been really really consistent i wasn't so consistent during my nyc year but i've since let's say since for 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 the past one year i've been super consistent on instagram after nyc and all of that and um sometimes some of my friends or some people will be like jay how are you so consistent that is why i'm making this video so first let's find out what is the meaning of batch creating right so i'm going to check it out on google and from what i have here on my phone it says batch creating for social media simply means coming up with and creating all your graphics and social media captions at once instead of spending an hour planning developing and posting a single instagram post you spend one batch of time composing a whole week worth of posts so basically what this means instead of you spending hours planning scripting and designing graphics for one particular instagram content you spend almost the same hour batch creating creating multiple content that can last for over a week i'm going to narrow this down to myself because i'm talking through my personal experience i'm telling you how i batch create how i create one month content in one day so i have subtopics so if you see me looking down just know i'm looking at the points that i actually wrote down i'm going to tell you why i like to batch create and the benefits of batch creating i feel like these two they work hand in hand because the benefits are obviously the reasons why i like to batch create so first thing is it saves time so instead of you spending multiple hours planning one single post you spend almost the same time planning multiple content and also there is no pressure imagine you creating content today you write caption today you find hashtags that you know go with your posts you find the right audio and you edit the same day and you also post that is a lot of pressure this is what happens when you don't plan ahead batch creating just means like you planning ahead right so if you don't plan your content ahead you will be under a lot of pressure to do all these things at the same time and put out content and mind you when you do all this you end up putting up just one content because that is all you're trying to figure out at that moment so this is one of the reasons why i love to batch create another reason is that batch creating helps you to be consistent and this is my favorite thing about batch creating you will just be chilling and posting content i've not created content for over three weeks but i've been putting out content almost every other day on instagram because i have content i have content lined up to post another thing that i really really like or another benefit of patch creating is that you would always have time to do other things so if you have a nine to five and you are also a content creator then you want to batch create your content because you having a nine to five and being a content creator is a whole lot of work it is not even easy so if you have to find a way to make the work less stressful then i think batch creating not i think i know batch creating is the answer even if you don't have a nine to five there are days where you don't want to create there are days where i don't want to create there are days where i don't even want to film anything right for three weeks i've not created any content three weeks i've not styled my hair so the content i've been putting out these are contents that i created last month last two months and so far 
I still have enough. If you're a natural hair content creator and you don't want to always over manipulate your hair, batch creating is really important for you. For you to be consistent on Instagram, you have to post every day or every other day. So imagine styling your hair every day. That is too much manipulation. So you want to Batch creating is important. I feel like everybody needs to batch create. Are you a makeup artist? You can't be applying makeup on your face every day or every other day. Whatever kind of content you create, you can't be doing that thing every day. So you need to batch create so that you can have time to also rest and also do other things. The next point is what is the best time to batch create? I don't know what kind of content you create. I don't know your niche. So I'm going to talk about myself as a natural hair content creator. Um, I have the perfect times where I know that, okay, this is time for me to batch create, if that makes sense. And one of those times are when I want to get a protective, a long-term protective hairstyle. If you're a natural hair influencer or you're a natural hair content creator, you're going to understand what I'm saying. So if you put your hair in a long-term protective hairstyle, for the content you can put out at that point, you know that particular period of time is limited if you have braids on all you can do is okay the installation of the braids the braid maintenance and styling of the braids and then the next content would probably be taking down the braids that's like four you're limited to just four content with a braid hairstyle mind you when you have braids you can decide to ha leave your braids on for maximum of three weeks to you know one month so are you going to tell me that for that one month all you're going to put out on your page is just for content no you have to batch create before you install the long-term protective hairstyle so before i install a long-term protective hairstyle i like to batch create i like to create multiple content so that while i i have my braids on i have content to post another perfect time that i like to batch create is before wash day and i'm going to explain why so sometimes um batch creating for hair content i have to do different kind of hairstyles i have to apply different hair care products sometimes i have to re-moisturize my hair i have to put um, put mules put gel put edge control put all kinds of hair products on my hair so the best time i like to batch create is before i wash my hair so i can do all of that stuff i can apply whatever it is i want to apply on my hair and when i wash my hair i know that okay i've washed my hair my hair is clean i i won't start batch creating on a freshly washed hair like no way you can do that right but it, i feel like it's best for me to batch create when my hair is dirty the next point is how do i batch create if you want to batch create the first question you should ask yourself is how many contents do i want to create how many um days or weeks worth of content do i want to create so that way you know what you you know you know what you are expected to do what you are expecting from yourself so when you know how many videos how many picture content you want to create how many carousels or whatever it is you want to create you put it in writing personally any hair video i create any hairstyle i create i try to have a picture content for that hairstyle so it's more like if i'm creating um five different hairstyles that technically means i'm also going to have five different pictures of those five different hairstyles if that makes sense i make sure that these hairstyles that i want to create that they align with each other like i can actually create them in the same day at least three has to be very low manipulative cute hairstyles so in case you you are confused and you are asking oh how do you even come up with this content ideas this is quite simple really really simple i feel like this is the simplest thing about content creation coming up with um content ideas i don't struggle with coming up with content ideas so one of the ways i get inspiration or i get content ideas is from observing things around me so when i go out and i see a particular hairstyle in my head i already know that okay i want to recreate this hairstyle and if i know i'm going to forget i can ask the person oh can i take a picture or i can actually write down what the hairstyle looks like and describe what the hairstyle looks like in my notes and i also get inspiration from movies when i'm seeing a movie i look at the kind of hairstyles they have on and 
you know sometimes i see really cute hairstyles i also get content ideas from pinterest and another way that i get content ideas are from the needs of my audience sometimes your audience would ask a question in the comment section oh please can you drop your skincare routine oh please jay can you do a lip care routine for us so you know the needs of your audience from the comment section or from your dms some people like oh how do i moisturize my hair my hair dry out so quickly these are content ideas don't just answer and let it go you can say oh okay i'm going to make a video on that for you then when you film that content that is you having content and that content would also be helpful to not just that person but to a lot of people and you would also get engagement from that content so these are the ways i get content ideas and i feel like that is why i never run out of content ideas but another way you can also get content ideas from what is trending you can hop on it and boom you have content after i've decided on how many videos i want to create and also after i've you know brainstormed and I have an idea of what kind of hairstyles I want to create or what kind of content I want to create. Now I go ahead to plan. Okay, I want to do a get ready with me. What kind of get ready with me do I want to do? Do I want to do a soft glam um, get ready with me that's makeup and outfit? Do I want to do a hair and makeup get ready with me? I decide the outfit that I'm going to wear for that particular get ready with me. I'm sorry, but I just can't help but reapply my lip balm. So I decide what kind of um, get ready with me do I want to create, what outfit, what jewelries am I going to wear. Um, I sort all of that out and I write down the steps and just have it really handy so that way I have a scripted content for each video and also the things I need to create each video all lined up and set so after that I go ahead to ask myself now that I've set aside these things that I need to create this video which one should come first if I want to batch create because I want to install a sleek hairstyle i asked myself which hairstyle should come first okay after this hairstyle i'll use the result that's the outcome of the hairstyle to do a get ready with me so the first content should obviously be moisturized and style my hair with me the second one should be get ready with me whatever whatever and then the last content will be a sleek down hairstyle so that way i know which content comes first right another thing i like to do is to put a time frame to each content that i'm creating so if i'm creating four videos in a day I would ask myself how much time am i going to use to create one video so that i don't waste too much time creating one content and most times when i'm done creating a really beautiful hairstyle i tend to take multiple pictures i would just spend over two hours taking pictures goofing around and playing loud music so when i have a time frame it kind of puts me in check like jay come on you've spent one hour ready you have like five minutes more to go round up with this and move to the next after planning and everything ready to start the actual filming like what i'm doing now if you're not doing a talking video you need to have music playing in the background i always play music when i'm creating for instagram because i'm styling my hair and i don't want to get tired i don't want to get overwhelmed with the whole styling process so you want to do whatever that makes the process seamless for you light up a candle and incense whatever it is that would help you through the process you should just do it but i highly recommend you play music play your favorite jam and just create it's always a vibe so once i'm done batch creating the next thing i do is to plan out the content on my feed i have apps that i use to do this so personally i use planoly i know i've used plan so i'm going to list those apps here that you can use um there is preview there is Planoly and there is Plan. So you can use these apps to actually plan your content. Previously, I planned my content. I asked myself, okay, so which one am I supposed to film first? Which one am I supposed to film second and all of that? Now, this one is which one am I posting first? Which one am I posting after this one? Which one matches with my current feed aesthetics? I start to upload the picture content on Planoly and also I draft out the thumbnails I want to use for 
the instagram reels and i also upload them on planoli and you know play around with them okay i don't know if you can see but this is what my okay yeah you see just reloaded so this is what my planoli looks like i don't post directly from planoli i post from instagram but this gives me an idea of okay what am i posting next what am i posting today what am i posting tomorrow so now um this is the last content on my page so basically the next content i'm going to post is going to be this one and after this i'm going to post this one and after this this one just like that if i decide to oh this is not good right here which one i just move it around you see So you see this is how this planoli app works so i use this to draft out how i want my content to look on my feed after i'm done planning out my content on planoli i go ahead to start editing but this one i do it on a different day i make out time to edit these videos the way i have it planned on my planoli i don't start editing a video that i want to post like next week when i have one i'm going to post tomorrow and then i've not even edited so plan only helps me to know which one is going live first and i start to edit that one first like i've planned my content i've edited the content i have the perfect audio i have the caption written down in my notes i use my notes to write my caption so what next just post so now we have the schedule app on instagram so you can actually schedule your post sometimes in a month i batch create like three or four times so that is why i always like have like multiple content even after one month i still have content to actually post so this is a bonus tip if you're a natural hair content creator you don't have to create different videos or different hairstyles so you can pick one hairstyle and actually like divide them into sub content let me tell you how you can get out four or five different content from one particular hairstyle as a content as a natural hair content creator so that way you don't have to over manipulate your hair so if you're going for a twist out look that is the content you're creating for example before you do the actual tutorial you can decide to do a transition content which is you can have your hair like this and you do before and after and you have like a defined twist out that is one content the second one can be the actual twist out tutorial the second content can actually be different ways to style your twist out that is three content now the first one can actually be um a hair drop tutorial with your twist out like bangs right here and you create like a really cute head wrap tutorial that is like four different contents and if you want to be all extra you can do a get ready with me pick out a really nice outfit and use one of those styles like one of those three styles hairstyles you created as a get ready with me boom just with one particular hairstyle you have five different contents is that not amazing if you're a makeup content creator and you want to batch create here is a tip for you so first you can do how you prep your skin before the actual makeup that is content very educative content then the second one you can actually do like you know the full the full makeup look that is two three how you do your brows and all of that that is three four you can do a lip um your perfect lip combo that is three content and four you can do something else you can actually do a transition video change your lip and um there you go you have five different content with just one makeup look that you're working with so you can actually play around with these things it's just all about planning if you plan your content well you can have multiple contents that can last you for a very long time and also always repurpose your content if you create content i don't be in a haste to delete the raw copies of the videos that's the unedited files don't be in a haste to it to delete them sometimes they come really handy i call them my content bank because sometimes I just add one or two videos from my old videos and I come up with the content. So it's good for you to have a content bank. If you don't have enough memory, that is fine. There was one time I created a hairstyle that didn't turn out nice. It was a failed hairstyle. I didn't delete the contents. It was just right there on my phone. And one day I got an email from a brand and they wanted that exact content. They were like, we want a failed hairstyle content. I didn't stress i just went and i lifted that video edited it and i posted and it did so well don't be in a haste to 
you know delete your content okay i don't know if you saw this content on instagram i wanted to recreate that hairstyle for real and it turned out to be a hot mess i didn't delete the content i left it on my phone and one day it was useful like really useful so please let me know do you batch create your content and um, share tips that really work for you and also if you have any question you can leave it in the comment section and i would gladly reply your comment don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that till now i really don't know why you haven't subscribed please subscribe share this video i'll see you guys in my next video until then take good care of yourself and don't forget that i love you be safe out there and i will see you in my next video Bye.